All right, we've been talking a lot about Maryland's key metrics in this pandemic. They continue to drop, and that means getting people vaccinated is becoming the main effort now. And Maryland's backstretch community, who cares for horses here in our state, just the latest focus of the state's vaccine equity task force. WJZ Live tonight at Pimlico Racecourse. Paul Gessler has the push to protect vulnerable populations before this weekend's races. Hey, Paul. All these efforts matter, Nicole and Rick. About two and a half million Marylanders are now fully vaccinated, according to the Maryland Department of Health. Dozens more here at Pimlico Racecourse received their first shots today. Look at that. Honestly, as someone terrified of shots, that was pretty easy, <laughs> sort of God. Assistant horse trainer Nicholas Delodovico says he got his first shot Monday to be a good role model. I, yeah, it's hard for me to tell my guys to get vaccinated when I'm not vaccinated, and they need to do it. He and about 100 others in the horse racing community received shots at Pimlico. Lorna Brown says she wants to keep her family safe. I can go about my daily business like I couldn't before. Our workers were here the entire pandemic. They never miss a day of work. Since January peaks, the state's case rate is down 83%. The seven day positivity rate plummeting by more than six points. Hospitalizations and ICU beds also dramatically down. The encouraging trends come as more than five million Marylanders, nearly two thirds of adults, now have at least one dose. But we still have a ways to go, and we are looking forward to when the Pfizer vaccine is approved for kids down to age 12. Advancements on the research front continue as well. Maryland biotech company Novavax Monday announced positive preclinical results for its combination vaccine candidate for both COVID-19 and the flu. Officials continue to urge getting vaccinated as soon as possible is the only way racetracks and the rest of society can get back to normal. Being able to vaccinate people is what allows this to happen. So the more we vaccinate, even if this is the smallest group, it's important. Now, vaccines were also administered today at Laurel Park race court, Racetrack. Now, those vaccination teams will also be back next month for the second doses. For now, reporting live in Northwest Baltimore at Pimlico Racecourse, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.